third leg for the Oregon Ducks, putting in some work. And Georgia is also in this heat. Three heats total, but there's a lot of B and C teams here as well. We're showing two because those are the ones that are going to affect the scoring. Iowa in three, Oregon in four, Georgia in six. Mitch Wolf for Iowa, Dentil for Oregon, and Ariane Evans, the senior for Georgia. Getting that pole position very important. Looks like it might go to Georgia. But guys, as much as this feels like a championship meet, this is still just an early season meet. Teams are working out their kinks. You're gonna see some. You're going to see some relays that aren't really quite put together yet. You'll even see some, you'll even see some repeats of teams that want to run a B team here and just get some work in. So I, I love the feel of this, but you forget just for a second that it's early season. Reggie Wonder will take the baton in first place for Georgia. Followed by Oregon's Marcus Chambers. And then Dewan Fry of Iowa. He's a freshman. the advantage for the dogs. And now here comes Marcus Chambers. He just shifted to another gear and down that back stretch and realized that Glover was hurting. He had gone out too fast. And now Marcus Chambers gets his Oregon Ducks with a nice lead going into the final exchange. Oh, excuse me, the second exchange. Well, he smelled blood in the water, boy. He, 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 he took off. That was quite a move. Devin Allen, who finished second in the 60-meter hurdles earlier. Got a little uh, relay work. Nice to have a lead when that happens. And that is Raytez Jenkins, the sophomore from Georgia. And Carter Lilly, sophomore from Iowa. And Devin Allen looks like he's out for a casual job right now. He's going to have to... Pick up the pace here, or he's gonna, or he's gonna get past like his teammate passed the Georgia athlete in the last leg. Now the Iowa and Georgia runners both realize that Allen's not running that hard, and that they can make up this gap. Now we got a race. Carter really digging hard for Iowa. Here's the exchange. Oregon maintains the lead, but Georgia going wide, trying to take it back. For Georgia, that is Maurice Freeman, and he's still working out there in lane two. And he does drop in, in time for that second turn. So Georgia leading, Iowa challenging for second, but also running extra distance to get it done. Oregon back into third. And that is Grant Grossman, who we saw earlier in the 800. He just doesn't have one of these natural squares. And Iowa not trying to make it a race, but he isn't able to do it before the turn, so now he's forced to go wide. Maurice Freeman trying to hold off Marion Harris, but it's not going to happen. Harris, the freshman, brings Iowa home for the victory in 310.80. Now corrected to 82. Well, the Karate Kid headbands did it for him there in that last 100 meters. But you love to see a great race, and that certainly was. Lead changes and big shifting of gears by these sprinters on these back stretches, running wide, everything you want to see in a 4x400 indoors, a little bit like roller derby. Well, just one race remaining in the men's 4x400 